Welcome back to Retro Tech. I wanted to give everybody a quick update on our Neo Geo restoration. We have been working behind the scenes to get things ready for this. I wanted to go over some things quickly on what we've been doing, what we've been able to fix, what we found out that was wrong with the machine, and just kind of go through it a little bit. As you can see, it's running great. I know the screen might look a little dark and wavy on the video, but that's not the way it is in real life. It looks great in real life. I've got that fully tuned in. I had a good inspection of the CRT, it's in very good shape, and it just needed a lot of cleaning. I mean, it was caked in dust. And so I had to use a brush and uh, just dust the back very well, and then use a lot of compressed air and blow a lot of things out. I was able to get into the marquee. Uh, let's just start there. There is something up with the sound. It's still, I got it working where it's great out of this right speaker. I'm not sure whether it's something where it's just not coming out of the left speaker very well. But that's something I'm looking into, so you'll see that. Uh, the marquee. The marquee has two of the EL uh, lights backings that still do work, but they're very dim. The other two don't work, so I've actually ordered some replacements for that that we're going to be soldering into place and hopefully replacing all four of those with bright ones so it'll look great. And then we're going to uh, clean all this up. And uh, if we move down here to the screen, it's in shape. We're not going to do much with it. Uh, this whole control panel unit is going to come off the machine and we're going to uh, blast it, get rid of all this old paint and rust and repaint it. I've got a new overlay that is produced by a company. It was about $75 and we'll go through that when it comes in the mail. It's already on order so that'll be a brand new overlay. Uh, we'll clean the buttons and everything electronically under that. Everything works down here as far as the memory card unit is concerned so we'll get a new memory card and try that. Uh, we are getting new graphics for the sides and the front bottom portion of the unit. And those graphics are supposed to be where I can just peel these old ones off and slap new ones on that are supposed to be very high quality. I've got some Bondo that I've also gotten to fix the little bits of wood up here that need to be repaired. So we'll do that. My plan is to get rid of all this and, and put the new ones on. I've also got new rubber stripping for the outside of the unit and we're going to install that after we uh, once we get going we'll put a uh, anywhere that's black on it right now which is the lower half we're going to repaint all that black and polish up any kind of metal down there and then the front part also has new graphics coming that match what it says right there right now so that's pretty much it for the cosmetic outside we also got some new feet coming to put on it so that we can uh, have it level. Um, and then we're going to do a lot of work to the actual four slot board. I've got some, a new, the new BIOS chip coming I'll be installing. And that should unlock a lot of great features. I'm going to do a cap kit on it. And I'm going to change the battery to a uh, changeable, just small coin. But, uh, shaped battery that we can change easily and fix and not have to worry about any battery problems. But as you can see, the machine works great. Everything works great on it. So far, uh, like I said, it's about $75 for the overlay. All the graphics were about $200. And then uh, we're looking at about another $30 for the trim and the paints. And then the marquee, I had to pay about $50 for all four of those, uh, and we'll see how those work out. So we're getting really close on that budget. The chip uh, was about $40 for the um, BIOS chip, and then we'll spend a little bit more money on the cap kit there. But look for episodes on us doing all that. So the next episode's probably going to be one of those portions of those tasks coming to you. And we'll just break it up like that, and as we go, you'll get to see it. Thanks for watching Retro Tech.